Sir, as you said, uh, government cannot censor currently the media because of the power of the media, but there have been unfortunate cases like uh, suspicious deaths of journalists or even an IT technician or IT professional in Pune. Is, can we say that because of such events, out of fear, media is giving in its credibility and bending down to big guns? No, no. One stray case doesn't uh, deter the people. I wanted to ask you being the chairman of the SL group, you're coming and speaking in the front of public for about the media credibility. It takes a courage. But what, what I wanted to ask is what after this discussion? We just somebody talked about what about the follow-up after the discussion. What more can be done to gain the credibility back? It's just about the discussing it or what, what more can be done from the media side to gain the credibility back to it? I believe that I am the change. I have to first change myself. I have to change. If I control a media, news media, I should change first. And I believe that if we change it towards these directions, what we have found out from people, ourselves, first time a media company's owner and the editors have gone out to talk to people one-to-one -one themselves. And we know where we are heading, what people want from us. Let's see one or two change people. What, what did the people do? जहां दुनिया में डिफोरेस्ट्रेशन के आंकड़े कई इन्वायरमेंटलिस्ट को चिंता में डाल रहे हैं वहीं बेंगलुरु के शुभेंदु शर्मा अपने तरीके से इस मुद्दे से जूझ रहे हैं नैनीताल में पैदा हुए शुभेंदु हमेशा से ही खुद को प्रकृति के करीब महसूस करते थे इंडस्ट्रियल इंजीनियरिंग के क्षेत्र में पढ़ाई करके एक बड़ी ऑटोमोबाइल कंपनी में काम तो शुरू कर लिया लेकिन इनका पैशन तब पूरा हुआ जब एक जैपनीज साइंटिस्ट से मुलाकात हुई I have done my industrial and production engineering and I have worked for Toyota for uh, two and a half years. Uh, where I happened to meet uh, this scientist, his name is Akira Miyawaki. Uh, I was very moved by the work which he do and uh, I could see that in just a small period of one and a half years we made a forest of 30,000 trees in uh, the Toyota factory premises. Uh, I volunteered with him, learned the methodology and uh, eventually it lead me to leave my job at Toyota and uh, start a forest. Nokri chhod desh mein vriksha ropan yani ki forestration ke kshetra mein kaam karne ka faisla to Shubhendru le chuke the lekin is mukam tak pahunchne mein bhi rode kam nahi the. Like any other middle class family, my family was a little reluctant in uh, allowing me to go free and start the company but the first thing which I did was uh, I made a forest in backyard of my own house and uh, my family, my neighbors, my, my relatives, everyone, my friends, they participated in the planting of this forest. And eventually when they saw it grow, I think uh, that gave them a lot of confidence that what I am doing is of really high importance and it's really beautiful. They say that where you want, there is a path. So they also found a path. In 2011, they started the forest. And today, they are with six people. चौसठ छोटे जंगल और अस्सी हजार पेड़ लगा चुके हैं हमें शायद आंकड़े काफी बड़े लगे लेकिन शुभेंदु के लिए ये सिर्फ एक सोच की शुरुआत है और सफलता का मंत्र इनके पास एक ही है रेडी टू गिव योर होल लाइफ फॉर वन सिंगल कॉज आई थिंक देन द प्रॉब्लम इज रियली गोइंग टू सॉल्व तो अगर शुभेंदु की तरह आप भी लाए हैं अपने स्तर पर समाज में कोई बदलाव तो हमें लिख भेजिए क्लब डी एस सी एट जी मीडिया डॉट एस एल ग्रुप डॉट कॉम पर और हम दिखाएंगे दुनिया को आपकी कहानी तो दीज आर सर्टन स्टोरीज विच पीपल आर डूइंग इन देर एरियाज सो आई थिंक वी ऑल हैव टू मैनी टाइम वी आर डेफिनेटली क्वेश्चन वट कंसर्न अस but we find what is wrong being done by others whether it is media the government anybody else but we sometimes forget that we need to do something ourselves also uh, sir the entire issue that has been circulated on today regarding this uh, um, media credibility i believe there is a one important aspect to that is the willingness of the dtv news channel to there's a trade off between the trp or the viewership and the actual news reality. So how do you perceive in the coming years this trade-off is going to shift? But uh, one aspect keeping uh, you keep in mind while answering this question is that if you go 
people have opinionated news about regarding each and everything uh, that's being telecasted on the news channel. So if they have a, uh, if they go with the very truth and not a openistic news, each and every news channel will ha will be having a same content. So then how will the competition uh, is rising day, day by day in terms of number of news channels? How will that, uh, that, that, that landscape will actually come up? Yeah, you're right. You're a very good question. I must compliment you on that. <laughs> See, it is a dilemma many times uh, one faces. So sometimes opinion or a stand taken, if it is honest stand and if you come up and say, yes, I do stand for this. Then rest is up to the people whether they accept it or not. But if I use that opinion, push that opinion for my personal gain, then probably it is wrong. And it is only my own conscience which will help or not help. You generally, you have to see whether this news media brand is honest overall or not. Hello, sir. My question is related to the advertisement and promotion. Uh, as Z Network has various channels and news channels also, uh, if we compare that uh, uh, credibility towards the news channel, is a bit obvious it's very good as compared to the other TV channels. So do you have any selection criteria what to promote or what to advertise on news channel as compared to other TV channels? Because people will see your news channel as, in, with very credi credible manner as compared to other, other channels. So do you have any selection yeah, criteria there, for there that? there are always financial pressures. Uh, that uh, do not uh, allow us to reject certain advertisements. But we should be doing this, on, particularly on news channels, we should not put advertisements which are misleading. We should, we should do that. We have not done that so far, I must admit. Yes. Yeah, we have already established in this forum that uh, news channels have become a business. So a business is essentially built up of its employees. and. Uh, so I just want to know what level of uh, like check do you, uh, what level of priority do you give to a person's integrity when you hire people at various levels? Like uh, I just uh, want to cite an example. There are news channels which say that this XYZ news channel ne aapko sabse pehle ye khabar di when the news is much more important. Earthquake ki news hai but people are more focused on saying ki is channel ne aapko pehle news di. So are there people who say, no sir, I don't want to say this Do you prefer such people or do you, you know, uh, discourage such people to join your company? See, there are two ways, two aspects to the integrity of the journalist. One is that, are they taking money and pushing a news? Or they are taking money and removing a news? That we have zero tolerance. But still it happens. Even in our company it happens. On the, this is a question of ethics and the kind of reporting. I keep telling people in my company that a girl was raped in some village by some people. Girl is a girl. Why do you say that Adivasi girl was raped or a scheduled caste girl was raped? Why do you sensationalize that by saying that? So, but there are many such things which we need to be sensitive about. This is a question covered under media being insensitive. We have to do the check and balances, including our own network. DPA <laughs> 1, government, the then INB minister who happened to be my friend, Priyaranjan Das Munshi. I told him, I said, sir, Please don't distribute the news channel licenses like you are distributing a Panbidi shop license to open. This will boomerang on all of us and on this country. Today in India, out of 300 news channels, at least 150 channels are owned by the vested interest people.